Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and I am starting a new series for Azure DevOps in this video we are going to create a organization and project in Azure DevOps service so let's begin if you don't have account yet for Azure DevOps service you can start a free account up to 5 users it comes with Azure pipelines one hosted job with the 1800 minutes it comes with uh, unlimited private git repository and uh, it comes with a, a package management along with load testing and uh, you can create unlimited stakeholder so you can sign up for a free account there once you sign up a free account you can log in in azure devops services so let's log in in Azure DevOps services. This is the page where you can sign in Azure DevOps. Sign in. Let's create a new organization. You can create multiple organization, but uh, I would prefer to create a single organization if you if you are first time using the uh, DevOps services. So let's create a new organization. Click on new organization press on continue give the organization name the organization name should be a unique and azure is going to hosted my organization on south india you can choose a location from drop down list box with your choice but i would go with azure recommendation location click on continue button organization has been created this is my organization let's go ahead and look at some of the property of the organization click on organization settings these are properties for the organization let's look at one by one the overview section provide a complete uh, overview about your organization by using this url you directly access your Java DevOps organization. This is the organization owner information, time zone, region, and everything. So this is basic overview about your organization. All the project that is going to be hosted in this organization can be listed here. For now, we don't have any project yet, so it is a empty one. This is the policy section for the authentication and uh, security. This is the user section and uh, group rules sections. You can add any users in organization, project or object level. In the security section, these are group level permissions. You can add your users in groups to provide project level organization level or object level access in the notification section you can subscribe for events for various layer from the extension section you can add remove or manage the market palace extension for third party components in the users section you can watch the activities on azure services these are continuous integration methodology to manage your project. So we will discuss about these methodology in details in a separate videos in the pipelines. First one is agent pools. So agent pool is a collection of agent machine. Agent is nothing but is a machine that is loaded all the required tools and components for build and packaging the artifact agent pool is a collection of the microsoft hosted agent machines hosted mac os enables you to build and release on mac os without configuring any tools and components on mac os environment hosted ubuntu or linux enables you to build and release on linux environment without configuring any components or tools hosted visual studio 2017 is another agent pool 
it is a machine on which visual studio 2017 is installed on windows server 2016 hosted windows container it enables you to build and release the artifacts in windows containers deployment pool is a collection of the target machine on which agent is installed on each one so it is a collection of the target machine on which you want to deploy your artifacts or code in the retention and parallel jobs you can define your retention and uh, parallel jobs policies in the auth configuration you can define your authentication and authorization policies in auth configuration section once you set up the organization in azure devops service now time is to set up a project or multiple project in this organization so click on project section currently we don't have any project so click on new team projects give the project names provide a description if you like now you can make your project a private project or public project so i will go with private project click on advanced options my project is going to store on git version control and i am going to use a agile methodology to manage my project go ahead and click on create button project has been created these are basic settings of my projects under the overview section i will see summary about my project what is my project looks like what is the status of my project how many members etc in the dashboard you can configure your customized dashboard currently the dashboard is not uh, configured so you can configure the dashboard by click on new dashboard give the dashboard name select a team who can access this particular dashboard make the options automatically refresh the dashboard every 5 minutes and click on create option suppose that you want to see all the task that is assigned to you specifically you can use this widget just pick up and drop in this sections next one if you want to see build history you can pick up from there and drop anywhere where you want so these are default widget you can add more widget from the extension gallery for example i want to add this widget to check total number of the result for a particular query so once you added this widget go for done editing and this is your dashboard according your requirement since we don't have any data right now so these widgets are these widget are empty widget so since we don't have any data so these are empty widget right now but once you have you know once you start your project and have more data you will see you know useful information on this dashboard under the wiki section you can create a documentation and uh, share a link uh, about the documentation and uh, uh, knowledge based with your teams and other ones in the board section again it is going to talks about uh, the uh, process methodology used for a project uh, management basically repos section talks about your source location or version control systems so you can use git or you can use tfs uh, i am using the git as a source control and this section provide you a mechanism how to use git for pull and push we will see this section in more action when we are going to build a artifact by using azure devops services the pipeline section is a combination of build and release 
and uh, we are going to look at the pipeline section in deep when we are going to build a artifacts by using the pipelines the test plan comes with the uh, manual testing and automated testing along with the uh, load testing and finally is artifacts the artifacts is section used to store your uh, packages or artifacts on that location to store the artifacts or package you require a special privilege and uh, we will see what kind of the privilege or access you needed to manage your azure devops services in next video so this is the complete overview about uh, the project section if there is no requirement about the project you can delete the project or organization anytime so let's see how to delete the project go to the organization settings click on the projects and use the option called delete and give the exact name of the project which you want to delete it go ahead and delete demo project successfully deleted suppose that you want to delete a organization go to overview sections click on delete options select the region why do you want to delete a organization so i am saying that starting over with a new organization or switch to another provide the exact name of the organization to which you want to delete go ahead and delete it you successfully deleted your organization that's all in this video thanks for watching have a nice day bye